Good afternoon, Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. Hey, it was an interesting day. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Philly in the Philippines, Marcos Overstay Road, and Ace Bachelor Cool. What do all three of them have in common today? Hmm. Let's talk about it. Okay, so first off, hey, look, we really appreciate you stopping in, and uh, we hope you appreciate the effort we put into making these videos. Please, if you do, support the channel. Just subscribe and hit the thumbs up. That's the easiest way and the least expensive because it's free. Now, uh, and, oh, of course, we would appreciate it. Now, Philly in the Philippines, Overstay Road, and Ace Bachelor Cool. All three of them, what do they have in common? Today, what they had in common was me. All right? I, uh, I got to tell you my day with all three of them. I have to tell you what transpired and what happened. So, let's get started. All right. As many of you may already know, I go to breakfast twice a week at Tequila Reef, Tuesdays and Thursdays, most of the time, okay? I go down there, um, I would say seven out of ten times. There are other bloggers there. Philly in the Philippines, Brian is there. Um, and uh, Brian and I talk quite a bit. And, you know, contrary to popular belief, there's not a lot of chismas about other Angeles City bloggers. That's really just not part of it. Uh, that's not what we talk about. We're not nefarious or anything like that. In fact, this day, yesterday, uh, uh, today, I run into Brian. I'm having breakfast. Talking to Brian. We're talking about um, his most recent visit to the Chinese uh, acupuncture suction cup non-traditional medicine uh, for his issue with shingles that he's having and the nerve damage that uh, unfortunately he's facing. And it is very pa painful. And we're, we're having a discussion about that. We're talking about um, Surga Island because Brian and his wife are moving there uh, soon. And, you know, we're, we're just having a normal morning conversation over breakfast and coffee. Um, nothing unusual, nothing nefarious whatsoever. But I'm putting a little bit of jelly on my toast. All right. I'm having a, a, a piece of toast with some jelly. And I hear my name. And we're outside. And I hear my name. And I'm like, huh, what? And I look up, out in the middle of the street is a guy. And he's standing in the middle of the street. Now, now you have to understand there's like an intersection there. So he's two-thirds into the intersection in the middle of the street. And this is not a busy street, okay? Um, and he's looking around and a little disoriented, maybe. Certainly not like 100%. And then I look over and I realize he's yelling at me, Mike. And, and I'm like, and then I, I said, oh, hold on. That's King Marcos from Overstay Road. And I'll put his link to his channel down below. Now, look, many of you know Overstay Road. And he is one of these characters that you either have to love the guy or you hate the guy. There's no in-between, okay? There really and truly isn't. And 
although I've watched him for a number of years, I don't routinely watch him. And I've met him on a couple of occasions previously, um, once pre-pandemic and once after. Um, you know what? He's just a good old boy redneck uh, with some rather unconventional thoughts. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. But there's nothing that he likes better than having a few drinks. And you can tell already he's had a few drinks. He's standing in the middle of the road, shirt totally unbuttoned all the way. All right? Wide open. Hey! Hey! And I'm like, oh, hey, Marcos. Hey, come on over. Let me buy you a margarita. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I'm, uh, you know, call it what you will. Maybe I instigated a little bit. I don't know. But Marcus comes over, and we're talking. And it uh, we continue to talk. So he's just coming back from a trip to Thailand, stopping off in Angeles City for a couple of days. And then he has to go down. I guess it's, uh, he lives in Cebu, or, or near Cebu. Anyway, so I think he'll be flying down to Cebu. And I ask him, you know, how'd your trip go and everything else. And he's hammered. And if you know Marcos, actually, I have to admit, I've never met Marcos when he wasn't hammered. But either way, I was just helping him out a little bit. A little bit of morning margarita for him. So all of a sudden... You know, Philly and I were talking to Marcos and everybody's laughing and joking and everything. And what happens next? Well, well, I'll tell you what happens next. Marcos invites these three young ladies up to have, because uh, they can't come over. They can't come in to Tequila Reef. Security will kick them out. Um you know, it's obviously what they are. And so they've got to be invited in. Marcus invites one up and I'm laughing. I'm just laughing. We're talking and I got to get a picture. So here's Brian, uh, Philly in the Philippines, Marcos over State Road and Marcus's little friend from uh, the street. The other two did not come up, thank God. And uh, she's massaging his back, and she's doing this and that. And finally, it dawns on him, hey, this is not a girl. And she's, like, giggling and laughing, and he's like, ah. And he was very gracious about it, and once he figured it out, he wasn't insulting at all. Um, very well-mannered, I have to admit. Um, more well-mannered than, than normal. Uh, but it was interesting. So, had a good conversation with Philly. Had a fun conversation with Marcos. And um, let me try and remember. I think her name was Jade. Or that's the name she uses. All right. Uh, had a, not really, didn't even have a conversation with her. But, so, I said, okay, fine. That being said, I then went home. And called in the morning. Marcos wanted to go out bar hopping at 10, 10 o'clock in the morning. I had things I had to do. Well, one of the things that I had to do was get together with one of my buddies. Um, uh, as many of you know, I'm getting over. I've been really sick. And I'm getting over it. And now I'm starting to feel good. Haven't seen a couple of my buddies. And one of my buddies, I said, hey, let's have lunch tomorrow and catch up. So, yes, we're going to have lunch. Um, so I come home, shower, shave, clean up, get all ready for everything. And what happens next is um, it becomes time for me to go to T-Backs, which is over in the Angelica or Angelique. Uh, tower um, over right by Candy, 
just a short little walk from here and uh, meet my buddy there. I'm going to go meet Eddie Wow. And uh, unbeknownst to me, Eddie, and, and which is no problem, invited other friends. So, you know, we got about a handful of friends or whatever, and we have lunch, and everything's good, and it's now time to go. Well, as I turn around, we pay, my back was to the, to the main restaurant uh, area the whole time. As I, I paid my bill, as I turned around, I look up, and who's sitting up at the bar? It's Ace Bachelor Cool. Ace has walked in, and he's ordered himself some lunch. Um, so I walk over, I sit down, I chit-chat with Ace, had a great conversation, really nice guy. Uh, so it, it was interesting. Um, talking with him is, is always fun. Uh, I really respect I really respect his channel. You know, it may not be your cup of tea, but he works hard, number one. Number two, um, it's a niche that he is doing. It's not the same thing regurgitated over and over. And, you know, Ace is another one of those guys, you either love him or hate him. You know, if, if you know, you, it's pure entertainment and it's fun and he's funny. And I, I certainly, appreciate it. so I had a long conversation, not a long conversation, about 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. And then I left him to eat because I, I didn't want his food to get cold and because uh, he had already ordered. Uh, so I left him to eat. But so my point with all of this is, you know, YouTubers here in Angeles, we don't dislike each other. We really and truly do not. We don't see each other as competing. We really and truly do not. YouTube is a medium by which we put out information and entertainment. And either way, we don't have to be um, uh, rude, and none of us are. Uh, you know, we're all very approachable to each other and amongst each other. Um, you know, it's not an issue to walk up to other YouTubers whatsoever. It's not a dramatic situation, in my opinion. I mean, there are a couple people here. We don't all have the same opinions, but that doesn't make us dislike each other. And most of us, as far as I know, respect each other even though we disagree with each other. We do respect each other. Um, now, there are some people that would say otherwise, but I don't think so. Not in our case. I respect, you know, Arlen and I respect everybody. If we disagree with what they have to say, we just, you know, say it and we go on our way. Mature adults can agree to disagree. And that's what we do. So, Angelese is nothing like Dumaghetti. There's nothing like that at all, I don't think, personally. Perhaps I'm wrong. Who knows? But otherwise, we hope you're having a great day, and uh, we hope you really have a good evening. Thanks so much. Bye.